Today we will discuss impact of Indian philosophy on Gitanjali by Rabindranath Tagore. Indian philosophy includes the ancient wisdom of the Upanishads, the Bhagavad Gita, Ved and ideas from Buddhism and Jainism among others. Rabindranath Tagore's Gitanjali embodies most of these aspects of Indian philosophy. The major theme in Gitanjali is the devotion to God. Gitanjali focuses on the all-pervading presence of God everywhere. It brings its readers into direct contact with the infinite. Gitanjali also proclaims that God is neither an abstraction nor an incarnation but an ever-present force and all-pervasive influence. He is to be seen in the various forms of nature including humans. Devotional Poetry According to S. Radhakrishnan, the poems of Gitanjali are the offerings of the finite to the infinite. The relationship between the two is conceived as that of love between the lover and the beloved. The mystics all over the world use this analogy and it is constantly used to express the true relationship between the human soul and God. The central theme of Gitanjali is devotional. It is in the great tradition of devotional poetry centering on the love of Radha and Krishna. The human soul is spoken of as Radha or the beloved waiting for the arrival of the lover or the bridegroom, Krishna. It is a drama of love which takes place between Radha and Krishna. Radha surrenders everything to Krishna. It symbolizes the human soul and the terrestrial universe yearning with reckless passion for union with God. Then that, uh, there is the birth and status of humans. According to several books of Indian philosophy, to take on the human form of life is a rare privilege for souls. Souls get human body only after evolving through an infinite number of births as lower species. It is also claimed that only in human form the living entity has the intelligence to understand divine laws and thus the soul could hope to free itself from the cycles of bondage of births, deaths and rebirths. It is also asserted that the soul has the ability to reach God only after being born in a human body. In song 1, Tagore talks about the immortality of the soul. Human soul is eternal and immortal and it is the will of God that it should be so. Human body is like a weak vessel which can be easily broken. God fills this body again and again, constantly renewed. Man dies and is born in another form. This implies the theory of incarnation of soul after death. We can also relate some lines of Gitanjali with Bhagavad Gita where it shows that self-realization is the highest wisdom which can be achieved through a varied experience over the ages. The soul must travel far and wide and take many births and gain much and varied experience before it can realize the truth that God is imminent and is present everywhere. Next is the divine immanence. In his book Indian Philosophy, S. Radhakrishnan observes that the ultimate truths are truths of spirit and in the light of them actual life has to be refined. Tagore says that through wide experience and spiritual discipline, 
the truth of divine eminence can be realized. Through God's grace, man realizes his self and finds that God is within him and not outside. Tagore says that man cries out of his ignorance, ignorance and keeps on asking that where is God? It is only through wisdom gained after long and varied experience that his question is answered. Man gets real happiness only when he realizes the presence of God within himself and others. Tagore believes that all desires that perplex and bewilder men are entirely false and meaningless as they cannot satisfy and give happiness and peace to him. The Role of Attachment An important element of traditional Indian philosophy is that all the trouble in the world is caused by attachment. Tagore says that attachment to persons can be turned into pure love if we train the mind to look upon those persons as different forms of God. God is in everyone. And so a devotee should do his duty to his relatives, but his love for them should be transformed into pure love based on seeking God in all of them. The finite and the infinite. God's love in human relations. According to Tagore, the finite ideals will have to be transmuted into the infinite before the soul can get perfect satisfaction through them. In human experience, there is nothing that equals the joy of love. For Tagore, God is love. The love of the mother for the child or the love of the lover for the beloved is only an instance of the supreme love which is God. And this love expresses itself not only in the ecstatic devotion of the mystic, but also in the routine of everyday life of the common man. Tagore declares that God is to be realized in the common realities of life and in the daily work which sustains the world. Thank you. The next part of the topic would be continued in the next class.